English muffins at my grocery store have 240 milligrams each muffin. You can buy these little English muffin rings, sometimes they're called tins, at Walmart, Target, kitchen stores, Amazon. They usually come four to a package. I lost one. I don't know how I did it, but there's only three in here, so I think I'm making three today. We need sifted flour. After the flour is sifted, two bowls. Each bowl has one cup of sifted flour because we're going to use them at different times. Subscribe to my channel and every Friday you'll get a brand new low sodium recipe and sometimes an extra little tip help you along your way. My bowl has got one quarter cup of scalded milk, just until there's a little film on the top, half a cup of warm water, one teaspoon of white sugar, one teaspoon of E-N-E-R-G, baking soda substitute, no sodium. Healthy Heart Market, or Amazon. One tablespoon of warm water with one and a quarter teaspoons of instant rapid rise yeast. And, and I'm using bread machine because that's what I've got. Put the two mixtures together, and I don't want to lose any of that yeast. So. I'm just going to dip some of the milk out, stir it up, and put it right back in. One cup of the sifted all-purpose flour. Beat it in. Kind of stir it to get all the flour in it. it smells great. I'm going to put a plastic on top of it. And then because it's not 85 degrees in my kitchen, I wrap the whole thing in a towel. Let it sit for about an hour and a half until it rises. Hour and a half, my dough is great. Beat in one and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature. But before you do that, spray your pan with nonstick and spray the insides of the rings. I'm going to beat this in. Got to plug it in first. The last one cup of sifted flour. Stir this in. And then when it gets stirred, I'm going to knead it until there's no wet flour. Cut it in four pieces. Well, kind of even pieces. Make your little patty, and each one goes in the muffin tin. Because I only have three rings, I'm just going to try something. I'm just going to make a ball, smack it down, and put it on the cookie sheet. Hmm. I might end up with one great big flat English muffin. There it is. Yeah. Cover them with plastic. I'm going to wrap them with that towel again until they rise up to the top of the tin. Bake them in my oven. This is the one 
that doesn't have the ring. Kind of flattened out a little bit and got a little bit brown on the edges, but it still worked. It took 45 minutes for the dough to rise in the little tins. 25 minutes to bake at 425 degrees. Cool them slightly. Remove the rings. We're not adding any salt. So we really need to freeze what we're not going to use in a couple of days. Oh, that's not going to be a problem. The only sodium that we have is the 27 milligrams that's in the milk. Our English muffins, 7 milligrams of sodium a piece. And that was Sheba that you heard barking. <laughs>